Question number six, cystocele or rectocele, break down these terms. Well, a cystocele is where you have the front wall of the vagina. So this graphic gives you an idea. This is the front of the body here, and there's the back. There's the bladder, uterus, vagina is here. So the front wall of the vagina right along here, if this bulges down, and sometimes it can bulge down and out, that's considered a cystocele. Right behind it is the bladder, so the bladder can drop down and so the person can feel pressure, sensation, uh, and bulging. And we often kind of uh, describe how much is coming out of the body uh, in like fruit. So like is it a grape size? Is it a plum, orange? So it can be from very small. If it is inside the vagina a little bit, then most women actually won't even notice that it's there. And truthfully, it doesn't really matter that much in most cases. Um, but when it starts to come out, that's when most people will notice it. And we have lots of different ways of treating that as well, whether that's a pessary or surgery, and sometimes exercises as well. A rectocele is the back wall or posterior wall of the vagina here, and there's the rectum right behind it. So as this bulges, the rectum comes down. Um, again, it's mostly bothersome when it starts to work its way out of the body. However, it can make defecation very difficult because stool can get trapped in that pocket that's created there and can be very difficult to come out. Uh, a lot of times, some women will have to use their finger, we call that splinting, uh, and push down in the vagina but on the rectum to help it come out. That is perfectly fine to do. A lot of people figure out how to do this on their own um, and there's no harm in doing that whatsoever. It's actually a good thing because it's better than straining constantly.